Hello, everyone. Let's have um, our bandan, the protection. Um, it seems that nobody's really new. However, we'll just listen to how we are doing the bandan. Um, that's um, helpful for all of us. So let's try to do it, uh, to follow the instructions. Thank you. Hello everyone, thank you for joining uh, for uh, tonight's class. As you know, we have a weekly schedule that you can find uh, online um, and you can see the theme for, <clears throat> for every class. Of course, you also go with the flow and um, build around it. So um, we will not be stuck to <laughs> uh, what uh, is um, shown on that weekly schedule that just shows our intention from the heart. However, uh, we really, um, when we make the weekly schedule, we absolutely um, try to be inspired and from all the heart, um, we want to offer those, uh, sp those special type of knowledge and special type of uh, meditation um, sessions. So tonight uh, we call the theme Innocence and um, just checking on who joined us. Uh, if anybody is new, let us know, but it seems that we don't have anybody brand new. Uh, therefore, we will tell you, we'll go ahead with what we um, intention to share for, for tonight. We'll have um, guided meditation. We always offer a guided meditation. Then we have a um, few selected um, excerpts, uh, video excerpts from Shimataji's uh, talks that are about, uh, this time will be about the power of this divine uh, quality within us. Innocence represents a divine quality within us that we really want to have it awakened in order to act in our life and through our life uh, can positively impress on the environment, on can really make a positive um, impact around us, in our family, in the society. And uh, we also have a surprise because this week will be about Sahaj Guru game. Um, and we have few that um, we have, uh, I think three participants willing to, to join for the next, uh, next session. We had one session already, one uh, wave of Sahaj Guru game. Um, and now we move to the second one. So, that's uh, that's what we have tonight and we'll also try to absolutely uh, finish everything within um, uh, 75 uh, minutes. So let's start by, uh, you can take a look at the slide here, you know, the bandan, the protection, and this time will not be guided. So as you can see here, uh, you can try on your own, those that are very new to Sahaja Yoga, everyone else can, they already knew how to do the bandhan. But we'll take, um, let's say, a minute for everyone to raise their Kundalini. As you know, we raise our Kundalini three times, the energy Kundalini. And uh, first time we'll do one knot above the head, second time two knots, and third time three knots. So we invite the motherly energy kundalini to flow through us once for each of the three energy channels afterwards we do the seven protective arches back and forth always we start from the, our left for from our left and we go above the head and to the right and then we return from the starting point so that would be one time to protect a chakra we have seven layers of chakras, starting from the seat level with Muladhara chakra and up to the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. 
So we'll do seven times back and forth, like seven protective rainbows. So let's um, keep a um, minute of silence. It's also very good to get ready for the silence within and uh, take our bandhan. If you already have done the bandhan, the protection, just remain in silence and be ready for the meditation to start, for the guided meditation to start. So by now everybody has um, done the bandhan, the protection. And let's have the meditation uh, with Ana Bianca. Let's keep both of our hands open on the lap. Let's take some Deep breaths in through the nose. Just hold it for a few seconds and then let go through the nose as well. Starting to bring the attention inwards, letting go of any thoughts or any tension, the body. We can begin by placing both of our hands on the Mother Earth. We will use the Earth element to clear out our chakras and channels. And say here, Mother Earth, please remove all the blockages in my channel. Please absorb all the negativity and balance my channels. We keep our attention on Mother Earth. We 
Mother Earth, please nourish my subtle system. We can bring the left hand back on our lap, keeping the right hand on the mother earth. Now we'll just shift our attention on the first chakra, the muladhara chakra at the base of the spine. Mother, please establish the qualities of the Muladhara Chakra within me. Please establish quality of innocence within me. Please allow me to be a beacon of innocence in the world. and spread this quality to others. Please give me wisdom. Mother, please strengthen my Muladhara Chakra as it is the root of the subtle system. Give it strength to support Mother Kundalini. and to strengthen the left channel. As the left channel begins at the Muladhara Chakra. Place the hand back on the lap. You can place the right hand on where, where the belly button is on the, um, on the Nabi chakra, the center of the body. Here we can ask Mother Kundalini, please enlighten my Nabi chakra. Please give me balance. Please give me innate satisfaction.
so that I derive satisfaction from the inside instead of things on the outside. If we know how to clear the chakra, we can, can clear here doing rotations, bandhans around the chakra. And every so often, giving or offering any negativity built up in, in the hands towards the mother earth. Mm -hmm. Begin to finish up clearing and bring our hands together, rubbing off any pressure in the hands or heat. You can place the right hand on the center of the chest. So the center heart chakra. You take a deep breath in here through the nose. Hold it in, and let it out through the nose. Bringing the attention from the chest. Mother Kundalini, please remove any blockages, my center heart chakra. Please expand my heart. Heart chakra. Expand my ability to love others, to be brave and courageous. do some clearing here as well and some bandans
We clear the hands. We place the right hand on the left Vishuddhi chakra. So on the left side of where the neck meets the shoulder. We can um, just squeeze our shoulder a little bit here, just removing any of the tension that's built up physically. Another Kundalini, please remove any guilt, any blockages, my left Bishuti. I am not guilty. I let go of any guilt. I am not guilty because I am the pure spirit. You can clear this chakra as well. finish up and clear the hands we're continuing we can keep the hands up on the lap and just see what we feel in the hands We can place the right hand on the forehead, on the Agya Chakra. Mother, please open up, Mother Kundalini, please open up the Agya Chakra. Please remove any blockages. I forgive everyone. Let go of any negative thoughts towards others or to myself. I let go of all thoughts. Mother, I forgive. We can clear the chakra here as well. Just removing any blockages and offering to Mother Earth. So 
we'll clear the Agya Chakra. We'll place both of the hands on the side of the head, the two sides of the head, where the ego and the superego is. Mother, I am not this ego or the superego. Please remove any conditionings, false identifications. I'm not this ego, the superego, I am the spirit. We'll do some bandans here. Just removing, we build up. And then once we're done, we can just clear the hands. Take a deep breath. We'll place the right hand on the top of the head on the Sasara chakra. Placing just the palm on the head with the fingers lifted off the head and put some pressure here and we can start rotating the hand which rotates the scalp massaging in a clockwise direction and start going right back left and up Mother, please establish my self-realization. Realization that I am the spirit. My connection to the all-pervading power, the universe. Please give me my yoga. Slowly lift the hand above the head. Just seeing what we feel here, top of the head, the space between the hand and the top of the head. And once we're ready, we can place the right hand back down and bring the left hand above the head and see what we feel with the left hand. We're ready, we place both hands down on the lap. Deep breath. Just settle into silent meditation. Letting go of any thoughts. Just paying attention to the present moment being in the present moment.
the last few moments of meditation. Let's just see what we feel on the hands and in the body. Mostly see what we feel in the fingers and the palms. See if there's a difference between the left and the right side. Also, if maybe there's a difference, what you feel from when you first started meditation. Feel any heat or coolness, pressure, or tingling in the fingers. To see what you feel for the next minute. And slowly open our eyes. Let's do our bandhan together to close off the meditation. Do it at our own pace. And we're, we're done. Just wanted to check in to see what everyone felt during the meditation in general. Also, what was felt in the hands, the body. So if you'd like, feel free to share what you felt. And if you have any questions. Thank you, Abigail. Vibration was amazing. Um, I felt coolness everywhere, Sahastara, Superego. It was a very, very um, beautiful. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you, Auntie Carmela. Love for everybody. Good night. Hi, Bianca. It was a great session. I joined a bit late. Thanks, everyone. Uh, hi, Paula. Paula? Yes, I think yes. you wanted to say something and uh, you got <laughs> muted. So. 
please go okay. ahead. And <laughs> I wanted to say to the others that after after we are sharing, we will absolutely, uh, we have just one short video clip in which Mataji talks about the power of the innocence. So if anyone wants to stick around after we do the sharing balancing, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, basically a thank you for a beautiful deep meditation. Um, I did feel the things that you were mentioning about uh, Agnya Lefeshudi. Personally, uh, my left channel needed some extra care. Uh, but uh, all in all, I did feel some waves of vibrations uh, somewhere there in the middle and um, enjoyed it very much. And I look forward to watching the talk now with all of you. So thank you very much, Ana Bianca. It was awesome. Thank you, Paula. And yes, I also have been feeling the left channel a lot more these last few days. Um, I think definitely some candle treatment would be helpful. Yes, I'm on it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, if there's um, no one else that wants to go ahead, I think we can get started with the talk. Bye. It's a very beautiful meditation. Thank you. We clear our Napi Chakra also and uh, Agnya Chakra also. And uh, so much cool vibration after meditation. Thank you for everything. Have a beautiful evening and good night. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. So we are sharing the talk right now, and it's really good to keep the hands open and see what we feel as vibrations. Today, we have assembled here to worship Sri Ganesha. Sri Ganesha, who is the Lord of Innocence. He is the ocean of finances. And though he is such a young little boy, he can fight the whole world. He can destroy all the negativity. That's the sign of innocence. There have been stories that children who have fallen from very great height were completely saved, nothing happened. Their <coughs> innocence is such a powerful thing that it doesn't harm anyone who is not to be harmed. It has all the wisdom of the world, all the understanding of the world. And anybody who tries to harm the innocence, the world, the whole world, which has made me not have cared so much for innocence, might not have worshipped innocence so much, 
but they all stand. Stand up against anybody who tries to harm the innocence. <coughs> you can see in your own lives around Anybody tries to trouble children, all of them, whatever they are, whatever they are coming from, whatever may be their nationality, they all jump, all jump to control and to safeguard that child. What is it? What is it within us? that makes us so very conscious to protect the innocence. It's a really <coughs> shame, great shame for us when we find in this world that innocence is under attack. Anything else can be tolerated. Innocent people who have done nothing wrong, those who have no malice, who are living like little children, I should say, if they are attacked by anyone, not that the whole world reacts to that. But every one of them cannot bear any innocent person or innocent being being harmed. We don't realize that within us There is the ocean of love, an ocean of understanding for children. Why? Why should it be? Why should we feel like that, especially for children, especially for innocents? There are people who are always attacking innocent people, innocent children, there are. But no one wants to support them. No one thinks that's proper to ill-treat children. And those who have done this have to suffer. They all suffer as a reaction what is it within us that creates that reaction, that tremendous reaction against innocence? For example, if there is a regular war and if there are people fighting, in a regular war they don't have much sympathy. In the world also they say, all right, they are of that understanding, they are of that kind of a thing. The greatest sympathy comes when innocent is being challenged. That's what human beings have. Within themselves they have the power, power of Sri Ganesha, which gives you that feeling that capacity, that understanding that you have to protect innocent. Innocent children, innocent people. And the whole world can rise against all such people who are trying to kill the innocent. There cannot be any doubt. If they cannot oppose such an attack, 
or criticize such a thing, then they are not yet human beings, I would say. The highest personality can sacrifice anything and can give up anything, but they cannot give up the feeling they have for innocence. It's very remarkable, we don't realize how much there is this ocean of protection and love for the innocent. What attracts the greatest strength is when we see an innocent person, innocent children are under attack. That's the beauty of human beings. Of course, there are many human beings who can be cruel, who are, I would say, I call them devils, maybe, maybe. But when it comes to children and to innocent people, everyone feels is a responsibility. It's difficult for normal human beings to be innocent because they have kind of a understanding that they are something great, that they understand everything, that they can analyze everything and they could be crooks, they could be aggressive, they could be troublesome, they could be anything and they can give explanation for that, doesn't matter. But still, on the whole, they can never be respected and they can never be honored for the thing they are doing. For us, the Sahaja Yogis, the Sahaja culture is to respect your innocence. You might feel a little bit cheated, you might feel a little bit dominated, you might feel a little bit disgraced, but Sahaja Yogis have to be innocent because with them lies the power of Shri Ganesha. They should not feel dejected. If they are being used, insulted, tortured, dominated, it's all right. They should not try to destroy the innocence of other people. Of anyone, automatically it will work. You'll be amazed that when innocence is charged, all the goodness of the world comes to the rescue of that. Example of this is the recent war, so-called war of America, where innocent people, they had done nothing wrong, have been tortured, have been killed. At that time, all over the world, it's a big support for them. Every country, whether it believes in those people or not, is anxious to look after those who have done this crime. They may not be belonging to the same religion, they may not be belonging to the same country, they may not be belonging to the same crimes, but at this moment who does not take the side of the innocence will be singled out and will be destroyed, no doubt about it. Once for all, they will learn a lesson that you cannot attack innocent people. I've told you in Sahaja Yoga, we should not ever 
be annoyed with our children. We should not in no way punish them. Our main achievement should be that loving attention for children. All over the world, where he belongs to your family or to some another family or has some sort of detached attention with you, still because he is a child, he is innocent, the innocence within itself, your own innocence will try to protect. It's very surprising how people take to sacrificing their lives when it comes to the attack of innocence. Children should never be attacked. They have their own power to protect, no doubt. But you shouldn't waste your energy on something that is extremely inauspicious, extremely cruel and extremely ugly. If you cannot love children, you cannot love anything. I've not come across anyone so far who says that they don't love children, luckily. But maybe some might say we love flowers. Why? Why you love flowers? Because they're innocent. Because that beauty of innocence is within them. You love nature, why? Because it is innocent. But the greatest innocence is seen among human beings who are such yogis. Hello everyone, uh, what do you feel in your palms or if you have any anything that you would like to share, even a recent Sahaj experience with your growth, with your um, chakras, kundalini, anything, we can take a few minutes to share. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Yeah, after meditation, thank you for uh, for talk about uh, Sri Ganesha. We have to establish the uh, Sri Ganesha with us, and uh, uh, that's why uh, we like the flowers and nature because uh, in Sahaja uh, we can learn the innocenta uh, Sri Ganesha power also. So thank you for beautiful talk also. And the uh, screen picture is so nice, so green. <laughs> it's from <laughs> Ireland, yeah. um, park yeah. in Ireland. It was yeah. amazing there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no compare with thank anything, you. it's so green, it's, yeah. It's true. <laughs> the flower is so beautiful, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for your feedback. And thank you for everyone's feedback on the chat as well. And yes, the attention um, goes naturally to what happens in uh, British Columbia. And I've seen uh, Paula's, um, um, Paula's note. Um, I'm not sure if everyone here, they know how to do bandan in their palms or to send protection. But those that know, because we'll not explain it tonight, we want to keep it uh, short. 
uh, of course, any time when you feel that, when you see the news, we can use our subtle powers to send uh, positive attention there. Anyone else that would like to say anything? I have a recommendation for those that have Netflix. There is um, a documentary, uh, it's called Gather from 2020. Um, and it's about the Apache and uh, the, the ways that now they try to, re you know, um, of course, preserve their culture and also uh, how young people uh, start uh, being involved in, we've just watched the, the first episode. Um, and the first quote there is really amazing. Um, so I'm just saying if you can, um, if you can, if you want, <laughs> um, it's really good. There are more ways to to learn about those that uh, used to really respect and worship worship Mother Nature on these lands. Okay, have a great evening, everyone. And tomorrow, as you know, we have going deeper at 6.30 a.m. and at 8.30 p.m. for those that want to um, listen to longer talks of Shimataji. And, you know, we do, we use the mantra book. We really um, do some other things that we are not covering uh, during the classes. Thank you. Thank you, you Ivana. You have a very good day the quality about the nature and also we have to learn from you also. Thank you very much. That's <laughs> the first time when I disagree with you. <laughs> 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 we absolutely learn. We don't even learn. It's built in this love. <laughs> but thank you. You are always super, super sweet and loving. Thank you. you. Also, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good evening and good night. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Good night. Bye. Good, good night, night, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much.